Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome to Cards TV and this is Countdown to Christmas. I thought it would be fun for the next couple of weeks as we're getting closer to Christmas to do a few things like some gift tags, some gift bags, some treat toppers, maybe some home decor. So we're going to start off today doing a really cute little gift tag. We'll be using the Sweet Treats cartridge and I love this for tags. It's got some really cute tags in it. We'll also be using Create a Critter, and for our sentiment, we'll use the Cards TV Naughty or Nice stamp set, and we're going to use Merry Christmas, and we're going to use some snowflakes. So I'm going to get what we need over here, and we'll get started on our first tag. The tag we're going to use is on page 27, and I cut this one right here at four and a half inches. Now you can also hit shift, and it's got these two little scalloped pieces. You can put one at the top and one at the bottom, but I didn't want to use those on today's tag. But that's one of the things I love about this cartridge for tags, because each tag has something special you can put on it to make it really cute. Now we're going to do some stamping and we're also going to do some heat embossing with the snowflakes. So I'm going to go ahead first and stamp Merry Christmas. And I'll go ahead and get that on my Fisker's stamp press. And I've got my blue mat here. And we're just going to stamp this down here. Let's see, let's go this way with it. Kind of close to the bottom, but not real close. And we're going to stamp it in the black, tuxedo black from Memento. Let me pick that stamp up. And get it inked up. And we'll go right down here. There we go. Turned out great. Now I'm going to get the white ink over here. I've got my powder tool. I never could find my little powder bag, so I got a powder tool. And we're going to stamp a snowflake here and a couple up here. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me get this out of here. I'm going to go ahead and get some powder on here. And I'm going to stamp them in white and this is Hero Arts Unicorn and it's a pigment ink so it will stay wet long enough for me to get these stamped and then get my uh, Ranger Super Fine Detail Clear Embossing Powder on here. I've got a piece of scratch paper I'm going to put down here so I don't forget it and we'll go ahead and stamp our snowflakes and I think we're going to use the small one. We're going to start out right down here with one of them. The stamping takes longer than anything on this little tag. The rest of it is pretty quick and easy. And we don't want to push down too hard. Just down and up and you get a nice little snowflake. White ink is sometimes tricky. And then we're going to put one way up here and one more. Let's see. I better put my image on here. Well, part of it anyway. As you can see, we're going to be doing a reindeer. <laughs> I think I want the other one right about there. Okay, now we'll get that clear embossing powder on here. This is going to be really cute. I like using the white ink with the clear because I have not found a white embossing powder that comes out the way I want it to. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to move this over here out of the way. And I'm going to get this heated up and get these embossed. Okay, here's my tag. I think 
it's looking really cute and I don't know if you can see how shiny these snowflakes are but I really like them but we're going to embellish them a little bit more in just a minute now here's my little reindeer and he came from page 73 in the Create a Critter Handbook he's also there's one similar to this except he's just standing instead of jumping in Create a Critter 2 in case you don't have this one and you have Create a Critter 2 but here he is right here and he's only got let's see one two three four layers I cut the bottom layer out of a dark brown this layer out of a kind of a cream color layer two out of craft and then his little scarf and his nose are on layer three so I've got him all cut out I'm gonna take my two-way glue pen and my tweezers and get him all layered together here's my cute little reindeer all put together I've got him on some foam tape and we're gonna go ahead and position him on our tag and he looks like he is just so happy it's Christmas. He's just jumping for joy. I think that looks cute right there. Now we're going to take some of these tiny, if I can pick them up, <laughs> clear rhinestones and put one in the center of each of our snowflakes. Just give it a little bling. Those are pretty. They're not exactly clear. They kind of have an Aurora Borealis look. This one I got kind of close on. But I think I can get it in there. Yep. Now I want to put one for his nose. This one's too small and that one's kind of big. But we may have to use the big one. Just let's check it out and see. Nope. I think that's just right very cute now we've got to have some ribbon in the top also I took the uh, cards TV Christmas joy stamp set and it has to and from on it and before I put anything down I went ahead and stamped to and from on the back of my tag there we go now I've got this uh, Baker's twine from the twinery and this color is cappuccino and then I've got some plain uh, red grow grain ribbon and we're just going to run the ribbon through here and you can see I'm sticking with red and then craft for everything that looks about right cut it just like that and then we'll take a piece of this cappuccino if I can find the end that's always the hardest part here it is and we'll just cut a piece of that off and tie a bow around our red ribbon and our first little tag is done and I've already done some Christmas shopping so I'm ready to get wrapping have you guys started yet it's not Thanksgiving yet but man Christmas is coming fast I can just feel it it's like hurry Mary hurry and no I didn't forget Thanksgiving I'm going to be doing a couple of videos for that I've got to make some new place cards for my Thanksgiving table because I got a new table runner that's really pretty it's got pumpkins and fall leaves and all in it I love the colors so I want to do some new placemats not placemats place cards okie dokie I really like that cappuccino baker's twine with this red and we'll just trim this off and there we go there's our first little tag let me trim these a little bit more that one's fraying a little so there's our first little tag for countdown to Christmas and we'll be doing some more because we've all got gifts to wrap, don't we, guys? So we got to get them wrapped and ready. So there we go. Thanks so much for coming by and spending some time with me today, guys. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this little tutorial. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.